Hello, my name is Zain Asad from Asad Z-Man Films and today I'm going to be reviewing the Zion M40. This light is small but portable. It actually has an articulating type of arm. I don't know how I would explain that. It has basically a stand with the mounts on it. So it's really interesting. But this light is pretty bright. I've had this light for a little less than a year and I've used this on one of my short films. The short film is right here. I really enjoy this light. It's pretty bright. The battery only lasts a little bit. I think it only lasts about a half hour actually. It goes for about $100 on Amazon on right now. I was sent this light by Zion, the company. I guess it's powered by Zion, but the company is called Fiber Ray. And I don't know what the other company is doing. If Fiber Ray is just the LED that they're using, or I, I'm not quite sure. Cause Zion, I use Zion, I use their gimbal. I don't know if this is their first attempt in getting into lighting, but it's pretty nice. It has a built-in fan. It has 360 degrees articulating thing. So you could hit the ceiling, you can make the light bounce off the ceiling. You could hit hit it right on the subjects for harsh lights. Uh, you could hit it below, I don't know. You could do a lot of things with this light. It does have a USB-C cord powered. This light is about, I wanna say it's about one pound. I don't know if it's really one pound, but I feel it's pretty heavy. I think the battery itself makes it heavier. So it's a cold and warm light. I'm really enjoying this light though, cause I could just like put it on the floor. I could put it on the table and then put it on and then put that little arm out and just have it aim at the subject or whatever. So like, let's say you need a lamp in the background and you have the, just the lampshade, you could attach this to the lampshade and it'll look like it's coming out of the lamp. So that's a beautiful thing. Uh, cause it's so small. It's about an inch wide with the battery sticking out. It's about an inch and one fourth, but all around it's about an inch, inch wide. It's about five and one fourth inches long. It's about three inches that way. So it's a small portable light that you could just put in your pocket. The LEDs on this thing are super powerful. So it's about five feet in the air and five feet away from me. The ISO on the camera is 250. The f-stop on the lens is at 1.8. I'm using the 50 millimeter uh, Canon RF lens and the shutter speed is at 1, 125. It's lighting up myself pretty good. I could adjust the brightness. Right now it's on full brightness. I'm gonna adjust the temperature of it. And now it's on the completely warm side of the temperature. Now I'm going to switch it back to cold lighting. Give it a really cold look. It's about arm's length away from me, but it's lighting the subject pretty good. You could put it right behind myself and it creates a very interesting look now. Look at that silhouette of myself. If I put it a little more down, let's see if I can actually create a silhouette. So that's an interesting shot right here. So as you can see, it's even bouncing off the backdrop. It's facing me, it's creating this nice line around my ears. You could actually see through my ears because of how bright it is. Now let's face it this way. Now it's completely off screen. Now it's gonna go towards me up, upwards. So now it's lighting this whole entire scene. It's creating a nice shadow, nice sharp shadows as you can see with my hand. So that's pretty cool. Light is actually pointing this way, but it's still bright enough where it's affecting me and it's creating this nice shadow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise it up, raise the stand up a little bit, and then angle it down. And that's an interesting shot right there actually. As you can see, my camera is having some difficulty focusing because it, the contrast of the lighting is really crazy right now. This is a beautiful fill light, 5-Ray M40. It's a really powerful light. So this light can help reduce the contrast of a scene by becoming a fill light. If I had another light maybe right here or actually back there, I would actually move that to the left of me and then I would move another light to the right of me and that would create a good exposure. It creates a very moody lighting, especially if you're just using it by itself. So let's say I want to create a dramatic type of look. I could just go like this, let my camera focus. I'm sorry. And this is an interesting look actually. Let's switch it to completely orange. 
So now this is an interesting scene. And I like that it's, you could rotate it like this because now you could have someone controlling it and you could actually create a fire off scene possibly. Look at that light behind me. That is very interesting actually. I use this a lot in my e-commerce photography. Usually just, you know, if, if I need the whole thing to be lit up, I'll just put this right on top and it lights up the whole table, like at, for tabletop photography. It does look like it's dimming though, which is interesting actually. So this is at 100%, and this is at, this is at the highest cold temperature. So let's turn this light back on. So now, that light is a powered light. That's a 25 watt light, I believe. So now that's hitting me. And yeah, I really like this light actually. I think it's a pretty interesting and neat light. I really, I really like the bracket on this. Uh, the fan is a little loud sometimes, but if you're working with like a boom operator or a skilled uh, sound editor, that won't be a problem, honestly. I I've heard louder fans on small, no, not a small actually, because it is a small light, but I've heard louder fans. This light, I think is worth the money, especially if you're just starting out and if you just need a light to be on hand just in case. I've used this light a couple times where I was like, oh man, I need a light and <laughs> I don't have a light. And then I was like, oh wait, yeah, I do. I have it in my glove compartment or wherever. And I picked it up, charged it. It just takes like a USB-C charger. I think I'm just gonna leave it back here like this. And it's still causing a lot of light. And this, you can still see it right here. This is at like the lowest settings. And you can still see the light hitting my face, which is, it gives it a good contrast. Would I recommend this light? Yes, I would. The stars I would give it, I'd probably give it like an 8.5 out of 10. I'd give it a 10 out of 10 if it would, if the battery lasted longer. It's good to have in your arsenal and in your video kit or photography kit. Again, this is Zayn Asad and this is my review on the 5Ray M40 by Zayun Tech or Zune Tech. I'm sorry if I get that name wrong. I apologize.